Got him. Another one. Oh! Oh, another crappy! My trout magnet tips for catching bigger crappy, bigger perch, bigger bluegill, basically any style of panfish. Is that crappy? Oh yeah. Big old crappy. Oh, nice crappy. Look at you, dude. Crappy slope. Minnows. Look at that big crappy, guys. Big crappy. Look at that. Now it's got a nice slab. Nice slab. Happy fight, guys. Look at him, guys. Look at him. That'd be a cool favorite school to him right here. Oh! Oh! Look at this crappy! Dude, look at this crappy! Oh, look at this crappy! Oh, you're a beaut, dude! That crappy! Tell me that's not one of the most beautiful fish you have ever seen in your life. Oh, that is a beautiful fish, guys. Oh, beautiful crappy. Mm, thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. Oh, look at that one more time, guys. I want to make sure we're getting them good. Look at that. Beautiful black crappie. Oh, beautiful. Big old black crappie, too. Ooh.
Got him. Another one. Oh! Oh, another crappy! Another big old black crappy all. Oh. Look at that. Trout magnet. Another big old black crappy. Another big old one on the trout magnet. Big old black crappy. Thank you, dude. Just goes cruising away all chill. It's like you got me, bro. You got me. Oh, that's a perch. That's a perch. Feisty one too. Little gill. Little gill. Feisty guy. Little. He ain't going nowhere, dude. He ain't going nowhere. He had a little one. Bass. It's a largey. The largey hit it. Another bass, guys. Yeah, the largey hit it. How about that? Nice little largey. Thank you, dude. Okay, guys. Welcome back. Thank you so much for watching the video today. Today, uh, this is a video I'm excited to bring you guys because this is one of the lures that I actually first started fishing with. The first day I ever went and got on a bunch of fish when I started fishing, it was with a trout magnet and I caught probably like 50 bluegill and I was on top of the world because I was having such a tough time getting a bite. Now, my trout magnet tips for catching bigger crappie, bigger perch, bigger bluegill, basically any style of panfish. 
So you see, we have a trout magnet here. I like using the white one. For whatever reason, the white one, bigger fish seem to hit it, I think, because it imitates a minnow, and a lot of the uh, areas that I'm fishing have very tiny white uh, bait fish, and that obviously the crappie, the perch, the bluegill are all feeding on. But I so white for the bigger fish. I, now they'll hit other colors, and a lot of days you'll just have to cycle through and see which color they want for that particular day. But uh, my number two tip, these are really the only two main, main tips. I like the white for bigger fish, but all colors will work. But instead of that trout magnet head, you see what head I got on there? I have just a regular little ball head jig on there. I like upsizing to a little bit bigger of a jig than what the trout magnet head is. It allows for a little bit of a faster fall and I can cast it a little bit better. I have six pound P line is what I'm running on my uh, for my crappy setup. And then, uh, like I said, the, the ball head jig with the white trout magnet seems to be great for uh, those larger fish. But like I said, that little bit of pro bigger profile, I think, is really, really, really what gets those big fish biting. But uh, And then as for working it, jig it off the bottom, jig it in the middle of the column, check to see where they're at, cast it up shallow. A lot of times what I'll find myself doing with one of these is I'll actually fish it like I'm fishing for bass. So you guys saw I was fishing around those lily pads in the cover. I was finding little pockets almost kind of pitching it in there, uh, little openings in the lily pads, and then also I would cast it clear up into an inch of water and work it down at, out. And then uh, at the end of the video, you guys saw I caught a couple bass just kind of popping it pretty quick and uh, got some reaction strikes out of bass because they think it's a minnow. This is kind of like a sank as to where it doesn't have a lot of action and that's why it gets bit. So it's the exact opposite of the last couple videos where we've been using jerk baits and crank baits and things of that nature. This is a limited motion dying bait fish is what it looks like and that's why they smack it. But I hope these tips help you guys. I hope you guys can go out and get a few trout magnets. The nice thing about them, they're so cheap. They catch multiple species of fish. But I hope you guys can go out, wreck you some big crappy, white, black, whatever, uh, perch, any type of panfish, big old bluegill, if that's your thing. And uh, I hope you, I hope this really, really helps you guys go out and just catch more fish and some bigger fish by using that white because I'm telling you, for whatever reason, big fish like the color white. But I'm Tyler, all my Larry fishing, catching big old crappy on just the simplest lure ever, a little old trout magnet with a round ball head jig. And all this setup I have here today, the reel I have is a Shimano Sienna reel. It's like a $30 reel. Look, I'm telling you, this reel has outlasted $100 reels in my life. So I really, really am a big fan of this little Shimano Sienna reel and uh, the trout magnets. It's a cheap setup, but it catches a lot of fish. I'm Tyler, all my Larry fishing. Thank you guys for watching today and thank you for subscribing as always.